There you are, Matt. A teddy bear for all times. If you painted it black and white, Andre, it could fool a real panda bear. I knew you could do it. That's why I brought you here from New York. You're too kind, Matt. It's an honor to be in China, making a replica of their national treasure. The world will meet Panda at its dedication tomorrow in Peking. I can't wait. Dad sure is crazy about the pandas. Guess that's why he helped develop this preserve. Hey, who let the pooch in here? That's not a pooch. It's a baby bear. I can't believe you don't know the difference between a dog and a bear. Well, you only taught me the bear necessities. <laughs> Listen to the pandas. It's great to hear nature. Yeah, it sure beats your snoring. I don't snore. Oh, yeah? Last night, I thought a herd of wild buffaloes were in here. Whoa! What's going on? Listen, the panda noises have stopped. What's going on, Dad? I'm not sure, but I've never seen Mother Nature hit and run like that before. It's so quiet. Where's the bears? He sure is scared. So what are we supposed to do with him? You two can take care of him for now. Wonder what happened to his mom and dad. What are those funny scrape marks down there, Dad? I don't know, but there doesn't seem to be any panda left anywhere in the preserve. I don't get it. How could all those bears disappear like that? Must be a bad case of pandemonium. Whatever it was, I'm going to get the bear facts. How can anyone be so cruel as to steal innocent animals? I wish I knew, Andre. See you at the Tiananmen Men Square for the celebration. Okay, Matt. Mr. Traco? I'm Chin Ho, the National Wildlife Representative. Then you received my message about the missing pandas? My rangers report other panda nappings. They have searched both air and land. Only a few bears appear to remain in China. I'd like to try and find out why your pandas are suddenly going from a vanishing breed to a vanished one. I wish you good fortune, Mr. Traco. But I will not be able to keep this from the Chinese people for long. I understand, Chin Ho. I'll get to work immediately after the dedication of the statue. At last, Venom will soon be immortalized. What immortalized mean? It means you'll be in the history books forever, you idiot. I've dreamed of this for years. Well, being stuck out here on Easter Island with all these bears is sort of a nightmare if you ask me. Where's the sculptor? We couldn't get him in the open to scoop him up. 
What do you think he's gonna do? Give you a written invitation to kidnap him? Now go get him, and don't come back without him. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, that tickles. Maybe I'm working close to your funny bone. Ah, I'm starting to feel warm. That's because I hot-wired you. Then you're going to be the world's only walking, talking incubator. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea. I mean, I'm going to look like a kangaroo. You mean a kangaroo bot. OK, the thermostat will regulate the exact temperature of a mother panda. T-Bob, you make the perfect mother. And this will make you even better. You would have to say that. Well, we better get going, T-Bob. We're supposed to meet Dad at Tiananmen Square for the statue dedication. I'd like to check the facial features once more. I'm starting to like pandas as much as you. We've got time. Yes, the crowds will not arrive for two hours. Oh, wow! He's hungry again. That's the second bottle he's had since we got here. Yeah. We're going to have to get him his own cow. Well, Andre, this is one panda bear no one's going to kidnap. Let's hope not. It's one of the only ones left. Wait till the newspapers get this screwed. Crackers to go with this tomato soup, Scott? Next time, Dad. That was venom, wasn't it? Yeah, and it's obvious they stole the bears. But why? And what do they want with Andre? <laughs> Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. Alex Sector, computer and communications expert. Rhino Systems Commander. Animal expertise critical. on the ground were caused by that scoop venom used to kidnap both the bears and Andre. But what's the connection between the panda bears and Andre? That question will stump the band, Alex. But here's a tougher one. Where are they now? Pandas are delicate. They rarely survive outside China because of their food source. Since most of the pandas are gone, venom must have taken them to a place with a comparable food source. That could be the handle we're looking for. Panda bear, secondary food source, wild pastas. Now, for a country. Hope it can come up with a recipe for this one. Well, I've given the computer everything it needs except tea and crumpets.
large numbers of pandas can survive on the wild parsnips of Easter Island. Pandas on Easter Island? That's what I call a mixed bag. How does East Ryland look at 5,000 feet? Like a perfect panda cage without bars. Matt, take a look. It's Andre and the pandas. Hurry it up, Mr. Sculptor, or you're going to retire here. I don't think I like your pension plan. Huh? I was wondering when Mask would get here. Just as I predicted, Mask didn't fire one skinny laser. But what happens when they attack? They won't, Airhead. Who'd want to hurt a teddy bear? <laughs> If we try to rescue Andre and save the statues, the bears could be hurt. Or worse, one can see in all directions from the island. Venom's shrine also makes the perfect fortress headquarters. Yeah, Venom Island. And the pandas are an insurance policy. You're right, Bruce. That gives me an idea for a plan. We'll call it Panda Power. Panda Power? <laughs> Right on schedule. All finished here. Dad! How was your flight? Bumpy, old chap. And no first-class accommodations. The baby panda loved it. He slept almost all the way. Like a real baby. Yeah! Now he's going to be wide awake all day. Oh. It's all part of being a mother, T-Bob. Cheer up, T-Bob. I wanted you and Scott to come here so we can reunite him with his mom and dad. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Panda Power, our secret weapon. Bruce? Scott, T-Bob, stay here while we try to arrange a family reunion for your little pal. Well, that about does your statue, Mayhem. Can I be next? Stop pestering me. You're like a flea on a dog. But you said my statue was next. I'm next. Ladies before... Uh, whatever. Why were you first? Because we're not going in alphabetical order, you stupid twit. Those stupid mask fools are still hanging around. Yeah, they're like ugly wallpaper. Wonder what the crate's for. I always thought their vehicles were a bunch of crates. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a good place to open a restaurant. Shall we serve dinner? Make that dessert. One panda candy coming up. Smell something fishy going on here, but it ain't fish. Mask has done something to take the pandas away. 
We've got to get them back. Fast! Showtime, Bruce. This one's a warning. The next one's gonna give you a flat top. Looks like the animals got out of the zoo. Okay, Venom, I want you to keep your eyes on mine. What's happening? I'm getting drowsy. I'm being hypnotized. Can't you go any faster, T-Bob? Sure. But not with you and the baby panda. Why don't you get off and walk? <laughs> I'm gonna shake matters up for you a bit, Venom. your lunch. <laughs> Those morons. I can never count on them when I need them. I'll find another island, Mass. You'll see. Let me get in on this trapeze act. Away. Venom's escaping. We've got to let them go, Bruce. We have to take care of the pandas. Scott, T-Bob. I couldn't wait. Here you go. <coughs> this is great. Yeah. Hey, what does he think he is? A uh, Papa Robot? Looks like just a little old bear hug to me. I think you've been adopted, T-Bob. Oh, no! <laughs> and I don't even have fur! Scott, you've got to help me! Want some panza candy? I'll make you a trade. <laughs> oh, brother! I built the world's greatest tree houses. Famous last words. Huh? Hey, you shouldn't run with sticks. You could trip or fall, and that could be dangerous. Whoa!
Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids.